From an anthropological perspective, our civilization has passed through three major transformations. The Neolithic Revolution some 12,000 years ago, and hence the dawn of agriculture. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century introduced mechanization, rapidly advancing productivity. And of course, the post-scarcity revolution that we now know as the Great Transition, which began at the turn of the 22nd century. I would describe the pre-transition period as a race, a race between human wisdom and complete societal catastrophe, which is what happens when a technologically advanced culture isn't mature enough to understand the nature of its own power. It's easy for us to look back and wonder how the insanity of that time went on for as long as it did. I mean, here we were as a species sitting on vast scientific potentials to ease social stress, improve public health, and find harmony with our habitat. And yet, our cultural baggage was so great. Loyalties to bogus political, religious, and economic philosophies so strong that we barely made it to the more stable world of today. And how did we get to this great transition? Well, it was quite the drama. The traditional avenues of that world's so-called democracy certainly provided no such route. It would take the rise of a kind of apolitical subculture, a subculture existing far outside of the dominant establishments to help guide our civilization in the right direction. And I must say, it is quite the story. They called themselves Concordia after the ancient Roman goddess of harmony. The pro-revolution hacktivist group, world famous after a decade of subversion, suffered a major blow this week with the capture of leader John Taylor. John. Simon. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Is this really necessary? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It was just last year they breached the accounts of the world's richest CEOs, extracting some $1.6 trillion, moving that money into virtually traceless charity donations worldwide. I assume you know why you're here and not in some vassal state being tortured, right? Theatrics. <laughs> so what exactly is this place? I feel like I'm on a badly rendered sci-fi movie. Are you on a spaceship? Only Spaceship Earth. A year before that, they jammed both Chinese and American defense systems during the Saudi Annex crisis, disabling thousands of warheads, a move which some on the left claimed might have saved the world from World War III. And in 2045, they leaked emails revealing how major Wall Street investment firms lobbied the CIA, Mossad, and MI6 to help procure monopoly control of rare earth metals in Asia. I think we agree this is unprecedented to have a designated terrorist group becoming a pop culture fascination with public support of their anti-government and anti-corporate actions. Their published manifesto has been downloaded hundreds of millions of times thousands of supporting groups out there in social media.